Hello everybody, it's that time of the day again where I either show off how good at this game I am or completely embarrass myself. Sometimes a little column A and a little column B. Today, looks like we're looking at one of the three seeds. As in the seed starts with a three. Which we in the Discord have been noticing lately. These seeds are really, really good, really fun seeds that are really quick. Let's go ahead and see what I get and how well I do. Is that a distortion field? Yeah, okay. I can work with this for a minute. Let off one block too early. Should be able to hit the switch at the top, I believe. Yeah, that'll hit that. Power node. Interesting place for a power node. I don't think I've actually seen one there before. I was kind of hoping I could kill that before actually getting up there. I was wrong. I'm going to kill this one since I took that bonk. Picked up a little bit of health, which means I shouldn't have an issue with this one. Oof. That. That almost caused an issue, though. But it's good. All good. Drone. I think I'm gonna go back up and check that before going to Zeter. Just on an off chance that it gives me another power node. Or a better weapon. Fragment, which I'm going to pass on the fragment. I'll still probably end up grabbing six of them throughout this run, but I'm going to grab them in some more convenient places. And now the question of, do I have to fight Zeter with Distortion Field? I do, but I'll grab High Jump real quick, because at least that might help.
This should be interesting to do. wasn't terrible, and that one power node definitely made a huge difference. There are still more convenient places for those. Eighty two, though. Gotta remember to take the save at the top this time, because it's gonna help, because I'm gonna check a few things down at the bottom. I didn't mean to return. Flamethrower I will definitely grab. Full power node, fantastic. I'm liking where this is going so far. We're gonna have flamethrower, two power nodes, 82, high jump, drone. That's a good start. Now we need like red coat to be right here. Well, it's not red coat, but it is a coat. At least lets me pick up a couple of checks along the way. Stream's not picking up game audio. That's weird. Hang on a second. Let me see what I can do about that. Uh, it should be picking up the game audio, but you're right, I don't see it bouncing in here. See if that does it. No, 
No, it still doesn't look like anything's coming through. Uh, let me let me reset the game real quick. Are you getting sound now? That's a strange one. Why do I not have any game sound coming through? Because I personally have sound. Oh, it's just not coming through very much. That is super weird. Take my headphones off here for a second before I blow my eardrums out. Uh, so that's up all the way. Hey, the fact that you could tell me whether or not I'm getting sound is actually a huge help. There it goes. Now you should have game sound. I uh, I forgot that I did a a little bit of a thing earlier with Jacob, and uh, I had it turned down. In I had XSplit itself turned down, uh, which when I flipped over to my headphones, it apparently didn't switch out. So, it was still kind of super muted from earlier. Can you hear me alright compared to the game now? Everything sound good? Alright, cool. Let's go back to it then. That was only just... A minor time loss, but uh, hey, thanks for letting me know that, because that would have been irritating later on to find out this video had, this whole run just had no game sound to it. Appreciate that, by the way. See, this one's convenient to grab. I should be able to make one check up here. E full health.
<laughs> Forget Hypno Atomizer. I'm not fighting Gear Tab if I can help it, anyways. That's a range node. What is Elsa Nova hanging on to today? And it's also convenient to grab, so that's two. Oops, looks like my tracker froze. Hang on a second. We'll give these a quick update on XSplit real quick. Alright, next time I pick something up, those should catch up. I ain't grabbing an ion beam. Uh, then again... Yeah, for the way I want to make some checks probably today, from what I'm thinking so far is going to happen, I'm going to need that one for getting back out of Aruku's room. Uh, actually, hold on to that for a second. Unless Fat Beam wants to be really nice and show up somewhere. Turn down more health. This is where I'm going to switch back to Flamethrower. Range. Should have just kept going to get the other wall. That's a minor time loss that I need to stop making. If I had to guess, there's probably nothing in the upper wall here. But there should be something at the health note spot up above or at disruptor spot. I'm starting to pick up on the little bits of like intuition that VGR has when he runs because he gets his runs done super fast yeah oh, that's four we'll grab it since I'm right next to it anyways okay so there's nothing there which leaves I think three or four spots in the way out one two three four Four spots on the way out. I should. Let's say I should logically find something on the way out still. I don't know, there's like five or six spots. Should still logically find something on the way out. Adros bombs, okay, so that's something. So I'm still gonna check the other spots on the way over to Z. But chances are I'm not actually going to find anything at any of them. Yeah, reflector.
Powered node fragment six. Range node. Fragment. Yeah. As I'm starting to starting to get it. Okay, so password tool I would think means I'm not likely to actually find anything right up above me or to the right of the save room. Fragment. Then again, password tool might be one of those oddball things. Password tool is an oddball thing, so that that one might not actually count towards like item placements. Uh, so grapple would likely mean that I'm not gonna find anything again until probably far right. I gotta be careful of the dragons, because they could probably kill me right now. Okay, we're fine. So, measured guess, I would say password tools location might have something. Otherwise, it's like if there's anything else, it's likely in uh, the room that I take before maintenance tunnel.
If there's nothing placed here for the end of this area, I would guess that there's something placed in Lower Kerr. Which would probably make that a little more worthwhile of going to than going straight over to Ukena. Though Ukena at this point most likely has something. Then again, there's still a Ruku's room too, which is technically part of this area. So we're going to make the stop in Kerr to save. Actually, let's go ahead and just check all lower Kerr, because if there's nothing in lower Kerr, then there's definitely something in Okinawa. This is where I want to go up. Don't think flamethrower reach that. It will not. Forgot to hit it with AD. Okay. There's nothing there. That was a long fall I didn't want to take. There's teleport, okay. So teleport here means that there's likely nothing down this way. And that placement for teleport means I have kind of a general idea where red coat is most likely going to be. And I do have address bombs. Yeah, I'm gonna hop my way actually to Eden. Because at this point, there's not likely anything in Upper Kerr. I'm missing what? Enhanced. Trench coat, red coat.
Uruku could still have something. And I think I'm gonna go actually check out Uruku. Just to make sure. Because I can at least use the save here and quick warp out of Uruku if nothing pans out to be there. So I have Grapple and I have Teleport, which means I can access all three items over at Uruku. I'm going to say there's probably nothing in Maintenance Tunnel, knowingly. Who's just got range here? Yep, right. node, and that's a health node, so I'll grab that, but. Yeah, nothing at Uruku. Oh, I actually meant to just go from Kerr to Eden. So I actually would have wanted to go up and just go straight into the right side. But I'm not too far off from that. All oh, right, I can't actually go up this way because I need trench coat to go there. Okay, so Kilver is right there. That's fine. Uh, I guess since I'm going this way, I'm gonna check maintenance tunnel or not maintenance tunnel, uh, spider tunnel. I don't have trench coat to be able to check the second Arabu entrance. It's the early password tool that throws me off, because, like, there's, I could access, I yeah, with teleport, I could access all three spots. Well, no, I couldn't access flamethrowers, but I could access the extra left item in Erebu. Venturing, I guess there might be one thing left in Erebu. If there is, though, it's one of the address bomb items more than likely. Should have enough health to be able to tank a hit. Yep. This is faster. This one's actually a little bit of a slower check, but the thing is if I'm I'm oh come on, that's not what I want. Uh I'm basically guaranteed to not have to go to flamethrower's room. It did give me 82, so it definitely makes this a viable check. Um, 
but not a good one. I have access to the room above me right now, which also makes that possible because of teleport. I'm gonna take the easy way up there, though. Eighty one. Okay. If eighty one's here, uh, I would have checked the password rooms if there wasn't an item in the wheelchair room, the room to the left, or the other address or either address bomb rooms, because that still likely means that there was something somewhere. But seeing as I found eighty one. That means there's not likely actually going to be anything else there. And since I was an idiot and came down through Indy instead of going to Eden from the right side, from Kerr, I'm just going to go over and take Okinawa. Come on. There we go. With trench coat, I might have just done the vision sequence. But with only having lab code, it's easier to skip it and then check it on the way back. So, guessing at it... I would say there's going to be one item in Okinawa and one item in Eden. Judging by where placements of things usually end up. But there's still also, well actually we're missing three items. Trench coat, red coat, enhanced launch. Come on. Thank you. Now, the other reason I kind of hold off on checking the password rooms initially is just because it's slow to put in passwords. Uh, the exception to that being if for some reason I actually have to go to Ikerma, I will put in that one every single time because if I have it and I'm there, it's way too far out of the way to have to come back for. So I'm yeah, missing three items. There's likely not going to be one down there. There's a chance one could be up here. Yeah, that's that's basically it. There's slow checks, and it's like, like I said, if I hadn't found the the extra item. I probably would have gone to check them just to be on the safe side, but currently I'm betting my money on there's not going to be anything in any of the ones in Erebu.
Let's see if I can clip myself in here. Hey, look at that. Two tries. Okay, so I know there's not going to be anything... There's nothing there. At least move only, like, a couple of spots that I can check left on the way out of here. Because I can't check either of these, so these two are still viable spots for red coat or enhanced launch. I need trench coat to go back from that direction. That's why I didn't check it earlier. And I don't have trench coat to be able to. Actually, that might just be grapple walls. I might still be able to go to you from here. I never remember the layout in the rooms along the bottoms here. Yeah, okay, also trench coat. Uh. Huh. Cool. I soft locked in in Ukana. That's a fun thing. Oh shoot, Drill is still a viable option too. Because that's a progression item. Uh, actually, while I'm here, while I'm thinking about it. I mean, he probably actually really is, because, like, he intentionally designed the grapple hook to be janky. I don't think he ever really intended some of the weird stuff that we do with it. But I also don't think he's complaining either. It's one of those things that I've brought up on the Discord a couple of times. It's like, I wonder if he has intentionally made things janky in Axiom Verge 2. All oh, right, shoot, the ceiling's higher right now because I cleared it. Uh, all right. So I know there's the one there. So the other one is still a potential spot for something. My money is still on. I should have went to Eden first from the right side. Because that's where I'm going to be heading all the way around to now. That's a viable spot for red coat up above me here, but I'd need trench to get that one. If I had to guess, trench coat is probably in upper cur. And red coat is most likely in Eden. Hands launch. Unfortunately, hands launch is the item that could literally just be anywhere.
Um... That's a possibility, but I have a good feeling it's not... Like, I, I still have a good feeling that Axiom Verge 2 is going to be all kinds of glitches and stuff. I don't know if we're going to have, like, the same kind of things, like, how we have, like, the address bombs and the disruptor and that kind of thing. Oh, shoot. I actually might not be able to get up here without... Okay. So I gotta have trench coat to get that one. Probably. Come to think of it, can't get to the upper section on the right without trench coat. Dang, this seat's gonna make me actually go to upper cur to find trench coat. I actually probably should have saved over in Kerr now that I'm thinking about it, because I can't go up there without Trench. I can't check the left item without Trench. I don't think of it, I actually can't get into much of Eden at all without trench coat. I'm so used to having trench coat and dashing. Oh, what am I thinking? I have teleport. I can do some jank stuff. Okay, so let's see if I... If I had to take my guess, teleports in the upper portion of this room. Oop, that's the same room. I always mix up this one and the other one. If I had to take my guess, this is where Redcoat's at. But it's not. Okay. Like, I've seen red coat pop up there so many times with early trench coat. Or, early, uh, early teleport. Uh, I can't get to anything else to the... That way. Where am I saved? Well, I'm saved in Ukana, aren't I? Crap. Well, since I'm here, I'm here for the third time, I better make a better safe than sorry choice right now and actually check the other glitch room as well as the two password rooms. They're slow, but at this point I'm making another save somewhere else, so I'm not coming back here again.
Because to be fair, the chance of something being in any of those rooms right now isn't zero. It's not high, but it's not zero. Oh, come on. Thank you. Fragment. Health node. Alright, one more spot to check in Erebu, and then I never have to come back here again. The odds of anything being placed in Flamethrower's room are so abysmally low that I would actually laugh if something actually got put there that was of any worth. Yeah. Nothing in those spots. That's what I figured. But again, one of those bare safe and sorries. At this point, anyways. Uh, no, I actually want the store. There's still the potential chance of something being... Uh, an Absu and the couple of spots that I couldn't access early on. Oh no, wait, the item's on that side. I can actually get this. Why didn't I think of that earlier? This one only takes white code to get. Doesn't matter, anyways. Could have got that a little earlier, but. Did make a difference between getting it now or then. Alright, so it is an upper cur. I'm still leaning on something being in either Ukana or Eden. Then again, it could be trench coat in either of those spots, and red coat would be in an upper cur. Which would be fine. But it's reasons like this that I need to stop going in oddball ways and start going in my normal direction. 
Hey, thanks. Thanks for coming, uh, showing up, watching. I appreciate it. Uh, me and Thoriel, by the way, are gonna do a co-op run in about two hours if you want to come back for that. Okay, placing bets on where stuff would be in Kerr, so... Likely candidates are Grapple's room, of course. The stuff likes to put itself there. Oh, come on. I'm fine. Grapple's room is definitely an option. Thinking of where else things like to show up. The upper left of the next room up, I've seen Redcoat show up there. Well, that doesn't happen often. Uh, that's a save room. Grapple, or drone's room is possible. It's nothing though. Never anything an ion spot. Grapple Bridge doesn't usually get anything. Placing my bed, it's probably Grapple's room. Eh. Just barely can't make that. There's trench coat. No, that's red coat. That's an interesting place for a red coat. Uh, 
I could do without enhanced. That actually puts us go mode. I forgot I had teleport for a second. I wasn't able to do yet. Grab this health for some safety. Because I whiffed that jump. It should be okay now. Was well, this how we're doing this? It's fine. <laughs> It's all fine. Is that drill? All the way at the end. Two hits I took. Shh. 
shoot. I'm okay. It's fine. Though I think I'm just going to take the easy way of Athedos today, and maybe not. There we go. It's going to be like a one... Maybe a one... Under one... That's eh, going to be a 105 something, probably. Yeah, I still got a full another round to go. It's gonna be a 105. Then again, maybe 25 seconds from there. 104. That's not bad. I think the thing I come away with today is that I learned that without trench coat, don't bother going to Ukina or Eden. If I have trench coat, then those are probably worth getting or going to earlier. But without red coat or trench coat, gotta do Kerr first because then trench coat's most likely sitting in Kerr. Or in this case, red coat is sitting there. And that actually makes me curious. Let's see, let's see if I can pull up the spoiler map. I'll go ahead and we'll just reload that one real quick. Look at the spoiler map here. Where was trench coat and enhanced launched? Oh. So that, that middle spot that is just to the left of address bombs is where trench coat was sitting, which means it, it was literally sitting just out of reach because you had to get red coat in order to get trench coat. Or could have went might have been able to go backwards through with Thedos uh, yeah, the the copies room. That would have been an interesting choice and probably something I should have thought about. So that's a bit of a tricky thing to do, but that's definitely doable. Enhanced launch was down to the right of high jump. So that... Could I have even gotten that at that time? Yeah, because I, I picked up teleport. I had address bombs. I could have gone and checked that, so... Oh well, either way, it didn't turn out too bad. But that's going to be for this run, and me and Thoriel are going to be back a little bit later tonight to do a co-op run. And we'll see how that turns out. It should be pretty interesting to see the both of us divide and conquer on this game. So thank you all for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you in the backseat.